here we are going to discuss about uh, how we have implemented the kubernet in our case uh, we have implemented three node kubernet cluster what are the various steps uh, that we are going to discuss so in our uh, case uh, uh, although we have implemented three node uh, kubernet cluster but various uh, other solutions are also available what are the various uh, kubernet implementation solutions first one is uh, jk google cloud that means we have got a google kubernet engine which can be used for creating the cluster then we have got uh, elastic kubernetes uh, service which is on aws that can be used for implementing a cluster then we have got azure kubernetes service which is on microsoft cloud then we can implement uh, one um, experimental uh, uh, kubernetes cluster by using minikube in which only a one node is needed then we have got three node uh, kubernetes clusters so in our case uh, we have implemented this uh, kubernetes cluster and please remember uh, most of the time when we implement a cluster you require minimum three system so we have followed that convention so in our case we have got three systems available kubernetes m kubernetes w1 kubernetes w2 and if you are going to look at the configuration memory is a 4 gb processor we have given a one and hard disk is 40 gb and it has got two lan cards uh, one uh, lan card is using uh, nat as a networking solution another is using bridge and uh, this nat interface is getting the address dynamically on this uh, we have given the address statically in our case uh, we have used the centos 7 minimum version uh, for implementing this uh, so all the three system they have got same configuration that means 4 gb ram one processor and 40 gb hard disk and two LAN cards are there. So in our case, uh, uh, these are the three machines, first, second, and third. And if you are going to look at 4 GB, uh, 40 GB is the hard disk. Same is the configuration with this. Same is the configuration with this. So now, uh, again, if we are going to look at which Linux we have used, if we are going to click on this CD, uh, DVD option, you will see that uh, in our case CentOS 7 minimal 19.08 version we are using in your case uh, you can use any other also uh, and uh, please remember on master node on slave node or uh, you can say worker node same configuration we are using and if you are going to say what is the kubernetes lab setup then uh, uh, one of our systems name is master.example.com what will be the role the role will be of master that means uh, this system will be used for managing the cluster then we have got uh, two addresses uh, two LAN cards uh, one NAT is uh, your name of that is ENS33 and uh, for the bridge the name is ENS38 now uh, this has obtained the address automatically and the address is 192, 168, 142, 132 24 and uh, this we have given statically 172.24.0.200 and then we have got uh, worker1.example.com the role will be as a worker and uh, this third system is worker2.example.com again the role is of worker and these are addresses 192.168.142.131 this is having the address 138 and what are the static addresses this worker1201 and worker 2 will be having that as 202 and this is our uh, lab setup lab that means send to us 7 vms are running this is master example.com this is your static ip address and that means on bridge land card we have given this the name of which is ens33 and this uh, a master node uh, when we specify the net then automatically it obtains the addresses so uh, the, it obtained the address 192.168.142.132 in your case it might be different then we have got workon1.example.com um, again uh, uh, this uh, uh, your static address is uh, uh, 172.24.0.201 
and uh, dynamic address uh, 192.168.142.131 and the name of the system is worker1.example.com and then we have got third system 172.24.202 static ENS38 is the um, uh, interface name and it is on bridge uh, connection and then we have got dynamic net is the option and this was the address so three systems in our case uh, uh, we will be using so uh, then individually we are going to check uh, what are the addresses on master system if you are going to look at a master system ENS 33 ENS 38 so that we are going to look so this will be our, uh, this is going to be our lab in our case we have already implemented the cluster and during implementation we have taken the screenshot so according to that we are um, uh, showing you uh, how to uh, implement that cluster 